Joe and Two Weather, Kamaka Pili. An update on hurricane season. We are continuing to see activity in the eastern Pacific, and we actually we can expect this activity to continue and actually potentially ramp up as we get in August, September, October being the warmest months of the year. Now, right now we have Tropical Storm Kevin, and behind that in its shadows, another disturbance in the next five days expected to turn a 90% chance to turn into a storm system. And if it does, that takes on the name uh, Linda. We'll be keeping an eye on this, but at least for Tropical Storm Kevin, right now we are actually seeing it to strengthen to a Category 1 hurricane either by tomorrow or Tuesday. But the good news is it's going to continue to move in this area, which is more unfavorable conditions, increased wind shear, cooler waters, and that doesn't look to be posing a threat towards the islands. But again, keep in tune with k 2 2 News. We'll be keeping you informed. As we take a peek into the new week, it's green lights across the board. We don't have any other warnings other than the high, uh, small craft advisory, at least until tomorrow morning for friends and family on the eastern portion of the state. But in terms of our surf, two to four footers for the east. A small bump down on the south facing shores. We're going to start to see a long period south swell. This will be peaking around Tuesday, Wednesday. Two to four for the west and flat to two up on the north. Now right now and over this weekend, it's been beautiful conditions, very stable across the islands and a dry atmosphere. But what we're looking at towards the east, right now situated about 500 miles towards the east of Hawaii, the remnants of what was once Tropical Storm Jimena, that will be getting closer towards the islands, being caught up in these trade winds and then moving over the islands, resulting in weaker trade winds, increased shower activity, and you add that to get together, you're going to in, uh, get to increased mugginess as well. Until we get to that point, though, tomorrow morning in through tomorrow evening, we're going to be seeing mostly blue skies, sunny, uh, sunny conditions, dry conditions, but around 6, 7 o'clock tomorrow evening, we're going to start to see the frontal boundaries of that moisture starting to move into Hawaii Island. So we're seeing rain chances jump up evening hours into the midnight hours, taking us into Tuesday, where this slowly will start to move west and up the island chain. Taking a peek to Hilo, though, it's about a 30 to 50 percent chance of showers all the way through the day until the evening hours. That bumps up to about 70 percent chance for the rest of the state. It's looking to be beautiful. Nothing more than about 20, 30 percent chance, especially for the west end of the state. 90 degrees looks to be the high coming in from Maui tomorrow. And as we get out of tomorrow into Tuesday, that's where the wide, more widespread shower activity is expected to take us into Wednesday. Then we're going to start to see things clear up. Humidity is hopefully going to start to drop as those winds start to ramp back up and even get back to locally breezy conditions over the weekend. It's going to be a beautiful week. Just keep your umbrellas handy. You may need those for those couple days. Have a blessed week, everybody. Dash, back to you.